Good day, friends! Today you'll see 10 of the most spectacular knockouts in the history of world boxing. We see a lot of blood coming out of the mouth of Amir Mansoor. Yes. Some just spit blood. I'm too oh, the Samoan signature left hook sent Wilson into the knockout in the first round. Time's coming up. Wilson tries a right hand across the top. Tua lands a short left. That left hook. Just watch how he steps back. Boom. Woo. See much of anymore, George. Oh, he had to extend it a little bit this time. When he was closer, he couldn't do it. But this guy gave him. See, I, see, I had my hammer there, and he caught me. Right there. Got my hand, caught me. So hey. And he had landed some body punches. Clean as a whistle. That's that was, a left hook, huh? That was a vicious. 8-21-21. Mark Magsayo, KO10, Julio Ceja. There were plenty of dramas and intrigues in the fight. In the first round, the Mexican was knocked down, but in the subsequent rounds, he seized the advantage. In the fifth round, Ceja settled the score with Magsayo, sending him to the canvas. Ceja confidently led the match to victory, but in the 10th round, he encountered a right-hand blow from Mark, a brutal single-shot knockout. As soon as Julio fell, it was clear the referee's count was meaningless. On the run right now, there was something wrong with that. Sale, he'll fight back. But Sale's got him on the run with those body shots. Tries to protect his body as well. He's got both arms. I think by boxing the past few rounds, not taking a lot of... Oh, oh he's out. Daddy, oh. Yo, Sale gave him some ground. He got Well, that was the end of it. He had gotten hurt already. But if, if, if we see a little tape... 10-31, 1992. Lennox Lewis, TKO2, Donovan Ruddock. The British Lion dominated the short bout, sending the Canadian into heavy knockdowns three times. After the third fall, the fight was stopped. He's got a right hand to worry about, too. Lewis hurting Ruddock with the left hook. Ruddock in serious trouble as Lewis pounds him. I don't trust the reputation of a man who made it based on losing two fights. Here's the first knockdown. Going after Ruddick, after the first round knockdown, Ruddick was hurt, came out in the second round, trying to look like he... And here is the end of the fight. Ruddick manfully trying to land something to get Lewis off him, but he can't. Oh, look at that right hand. And it's one o'clock, and, uh, and would you believe the Sunday punch? One o'clock in the morning, Sunday in London, belonged to Lennox Lewis. 4 9 2010. Audley Harrison, KO 12, Michael Sprott. Trailing on points, Harrison brutally knocked out Sprott with a powerful left hook. Three three twenty twelve. Fernando Montiel KO nine. Anki and Cota. Montiel, it's all thing the Filipino fans here in Las Vegas. Eleven eleven two thousand six. Vladimir Klitschko TKO seven. Calvin Brock. Klitschko's classic one-two combo put Brock into a heavy knockdown. A glance into the dazed eyes of the brave American was enough for the referee to signal the end of the fight. But as you saw, referee Wayne Kelly assessing Brock's balance decided that it might be too dangerous to allow him to continue. The stoppage reminds you see in how the fight ended. Of course, with the left wide hook, what usually Ken Brock did, or 
still doing. It was actually easy to hit him with the right hand, but it's all about timing, and I should do it in the early rounds, not in the late round. All right. Did you feel any urgency because of the blood coming from your eye? Yes, it was another headbutt, which was my miss. And Wayne Kelly's going to stop it. A knockout win for Klitschko in the seventh round. Boom! 7-2. 2005. Samuel Peter KO2 Taurus Sykes. In the second round, the Nigerian's furious attack sent the American journeyman into a knockout. Вот что публика хочет видеть. Вот зачем она Питер надо было идти к нему. И тогда Питер не смог бы его ударить. А тут просто брутально так грубо затолкав и сокрушив Сайкса, Сайксу только посочувствует. Ударов было много. Анна Каудир. Но... 8-24-1991. Larry Holmes, KO4, Michael Greer. In the fourth round, the great Larry Holmes knocked out his opponent with a powerful right hand blow. Take some big shots. I guess that's what you get when you get Larry Holmes. Oh, that's right. And there it is. Oh! Just stalking Michael Greer and pounding him with the right, another right. Just loading up on that right hand, body shot. Another body shot, and he's gonna hit him with the overhand right, and then one for good measure coming up right there, and down one, Michael Greer. As we take a look, and he won't, don't have dinner with Larry tonight. There's the right that got through. Michael Greer stopped punching, and then went face down. Stalking Michael Greer, and then pounding him with the right, another right. Just loading up on that right hand, body shot. Another body shot, and he's gonna hit him with the overhand right, and then one for good measure coming up right there, and down one, Michael Greer. As we take a look, and he... 3-25-2017. Johnny Gonzalez, KO3, Francisco Contreras. The former world champion from Mexico did not waste time and finished the fight in the third round. Throughout the third minute, Contreras found himself on the canvas twice. Number six. 422-1992. Frank Bruno, KO2, Jose Ribalta. Bruno's fierce combination from the imposing heavyweight ended the match in the second round. Time, it was different. What a thundering right hand that was. That came from way back, and he had no defense against it. And from this moment, he threatened to come toppling over the top rope, right above me. And I expected six and a half feet of Cuban right over our heads. Big right hand, this is a thundering right. And almost no man in the world would have survived that. It's the sort of punch that disturbed Tyson when Frank hit him. He had him going here, and Frank didn't let him off the hook. 10-4, 1989. 
Gary Mason, KO7, Tyrell Biggs. In the seventh round, Mason's 1-2 combination ended the showdown. went through and that little right hand went crashing through between the gloves that was not a big the left went through and that little right hand went crashing through between the gloves that was not a big number seven 330 1997 james buster douglas ko6 brian scott douglas the veteran dominated the entire fight forcing Scott to taste the canvas in the fifth round. In the sixth minute, James knocked out his opponent. And at the 32nd mark we go, that was a slip. He landed a non-knockdown. You'll see the leg of Scott get tangled with it. He's bobbling now, Tim. He's bobbling. He's got him down. A right and a left from Douglas sends him to the... Douglas looks like a master in there right now. Now that time he just fell first knockdown. He told the referee he was fine after this one. Well, he got set up with that good left jab again by Douglas. Right hand, left hook. And there's that left jab again. Douglas really is an excellent technician, well-schooled fighter. And that's where you can see the we just and that one was ruled not a knockdown, but there's the the knock the first legitimate knockdown. So for 16 2016 Gary Russell TKO 2 Patrick Highland Russell destroyed Highland in the second round sending him to heavy knockdowns three times after the final fall the Irishman remained on the canvas for a long time shot again, setting up a right hook, and that's all it takes this time as a very wobbly Patrick Highland goes. Number 8, 12, 5, 1987, Evander Holyfield, KO4, Dwight Muhammad Kawi. In the rematch, Holyfield asserted his superiority from the beginning dominating the fight. The match ended in the fourth round after two knockdowns of veteran Kawi. Versus Ocasio, all told defended by beating Ocasio. Pulls up without having that much impact. It is there, but it's not there when you go punch. A fire plug, a squat walking banger. The third round. I think this is the best round he had thus far. He got Holyfield to commit to those little Wars that he likes. And that fight, Holyfield ran out of gas. Oh, Kawi! Now Kawi trying to storm back. A wild miss and he goes to knock down in round four. This one sent Kawi reeling to the seat of his pants. He got up quickly. 327-2021. Fabio Wardley, KO5, Eric Molina. In the fifth round, Wardley knocked out the veteran with a hard left punch. Is that counter that you, you, it's a good left hook counter up on the top of the head? It's a perfect. Sets him up with that jab and then puts him out. Just a finish here and then. What? Number nine, 6-25, 1998. Lou Savarisi KO1, James Buster Douglas. The amiable giant Savarisi didn't show mercy in the fight against the famous ring veteran Douglas, finishing the match in the first round. The fight ended after the third heavy fall of the former undisputed world champion. Two twenty-two, nineteen ninety-eight. Mark Johnson, KO one, Arthur Johnson. The legendary Mark Johnson did not hesitate with his namesake, brutally knocking him out in the first round with a series of powerful blows. 
Johnson, I mentioned he wanted to press him. That's a right hook. Now that one really stuck. I think it got him on the temple and knocked his equilibrium away because it wasn't a great right hook by Mark Johnson. But look at the combination. Johnson is a great finisher. That's why he had 24 KOs coming into this fight. He threw beautiful combinations. And what was great about that was he worked both the body and the head. And that's Mark Johnson knew when he saw Arthur go down, he knew it was over. Well, the way he fell, you had to feel like it was going to be tough for him to get up, and it was. When Mark Johnson gets you, he gets you early. 20 now of his twin in the first three rounds. None more impressive than this. Well, this is a totally shocking turn of events. It has never happened to Arthur before. It happened tonight. And I'll tell you what. You ну, что остается делать Саваризу, когда Бастер Даглас опускает не только предплечье, но даже и плечо вниз. Смотрите. Это уже второй удар. Ну а тут, конечно, вот этот вот левый удар, когда проскочил левый крюк в челюсть. Nine seventeen, nineteen ninety nine. Lamont Brewster KO one. Quinn Navare. Brewster's fierce combination sent Navare into a heavy knockout in the first round. And by Brewster, and down goes Navar. Laval, Laval went straight back. Brewster did his knockout, his 20th knockout. And Teddy, he just followed Navar. And I think a left hand finally finished Navar off. And Lehman Brewster now only has four rounds. He's going to learn that there's different ways to make things happen. Good left hand by Brewster, and down goes Navar ways to make things happen. Good left hand by Brewster, and down goes the bar. 10. David Ezon, KO4, Darrell Wilson. The bout between two knockout artists was extremely dramatic. Ezon experienced a knockdown in the first round, but managed to survive until the bell. In the fourth round, a powerful left hook from the Nigerian sent Wilson into a heavy knockout. Circumstances. Terrence Lewis. But Jefferson isn't one of those guys, although Jefferson goes... Referee has been looking at. Jefferson does well, but then he seems to tie, and Azan gets him one. That's why he didn't stop it early on. And this time is... Stay out of the hooking match. And Jefferson goes down. From Jefferson needs to stand up seven more seconds to make it out of the round. Izon knocks his mouthpiece out, and the bell saves Jefferson at the end of the round as he lands a shot on Mercanti Jr. Critical, but... All right, now you're going to see that Jefferson actually went down from exha exhaustion. It was a, a light tap with the right hand. Meanwhile, you heard Jefferson's corner tell him he's got one round to go. And of course, he's got two. And Mercanti stopped. 12 14 2013. Darnell Wilson, KO6, David Rodriguez. In the sixth round, the veteran Wilson brutally took down the prospect with a powerful left hook. Wilson trying to work because after a two-year break, getting all he wants. Dar Rodriguez has never lost 36 and 0 in his career. And he's all over. He starts over. Wilson has knocked him out. Over. It's over. Ten seconds left. After it looked like Rodriguez had gained control of the fight once again, but here in the sixth, there it is. And that's the shot. That time and time again, I've seen him do that for seven years. I remember in 2000, exactly like this, and this was the type of fight to put Darnell Wilson back on the mat kind of power and you forget it for a split second and this is what happens what a shot by Wilson and with a second to your winner by a knockout from Miami Florida known as the D 4 9 2005 Marco Antonio Barrera KO2 Mzonke Fana the great Barrera did not allow any doubt about his superiority for a moment in the second round, a magnificent right hook from the Mexican sent the African boxer into a deep knockout. A right hand follow up, and there's a magnificent right hand. His head nearly flew off. 
<laughs> below blow either. No, you'll see it. It's going to be on the. It's it's a little bit below the uh, the belt line, but it's not even the one that knocked him out or set him up for the knockout. No, that's right. It doesn't matter. He backs off. You see that right hand really was devastating, and then the follow up right just put him away. 116 2016. David Hay, KO 1, Mark DeMori. Hay's splendid combination knocked out his opponent in the first round. The He's take some heavy artillery. He was taking some right. Finished by David Hay. And David Hay had him in the corner. You see Mark DeMori push out that little soft jab. David followed him back with the overhand right. Combinations on and after that, it was academic. Mark was already out and, uh, you know, Good timing and good precision by a heavyweight who went up almost a little slower based on what we saw at the weigh-in, but very nice reflexes and great precision punching by David. Good stuff. You see him putting that measure out there, just trying to bait Demore to do something, and the plan worked to full effect. Nice left uppercut on his way down, and that's something David Hayes always done very well. When he gets his man hurt, he left. By his new trainer, Shane McGuigan. And the crowd. 6-17-2004. Hasim Rahman KO2 Rob Calloway. In the second round, Rahman knocked out his opponent with a powerful right hand. The body of Rahman, right? They've, it's, oh, oh he's, the right hand. Second round, Larry. You see Rahman missing with the left hook on the inside, but a punishing right hand along the temple, high on the head of his opponent, and that was the. Final shot at Callaway with their look here in the second round. Former heavyweight champion Asim Rockman. Underneath comes Callaway. He was a game fighter tonight. He tried various ways, using the jab, fighting on the inside. There's Rockman missing with the left hook. But as Callaway straightens up, he's going to get drilled with a right hand. That was the punch right there that put him out. And in various ways, using the jab, fighting on the inside. There's Rockman missing with the left hook. But as Callaway straightens up, he's going to get drilled with a right hand. That was the punch right there that put him out. And it was him, the Rock Rockman! 119, 2002. Johnny Tapia KO1 Eduardo Enrique Alvarez. In the first round, Tapia's bright combination put an end to the uneven confrontation. Alvarez gets started. Good body punching, hook to the body, left hook to the head. And Alvarez right from the start. He's an exciting fighter with an exciting Mike Tyson's experiences. Seem like an addition of listen with 10-3, 2009. Oleg Yefimovich, KO3, Isham Pickering. The Ukrainian dominated throughout the fight, sending Pickering to the canvas twice in the second round. In the third round, Oleg's perfect left hook put a bold end to the uneven contest. One fifteen, nineteen ninety nine. Thomas Tate, KO ten, Mercito Sosa. In the tenth round, Tate brutally knocked out his opponent with a right hand punch. The right hand started it. Tate missing there. Oh, good right hand by Thomas Tate. Mitch Hopper looking to step in and stop it. Thomas Tate just unloading on Murky Sosa. Sosa with a few answers. Kind of let him do the job, the ref. He kind of let Sosa go. You know, I'm cold here, buddy. He near 60 punches, 70%. Let go, let go, let go. Let go. Hey, go. Now you see, both Tom, men. Pound Gorilla there. Oh, there's another knockdown. You're going to see Sosa didn't, was turning, and by turning, he made.
like the most crunching of blows. Didn't seem like the hardest punches he's been hit tonight. Temple, it's hard to tell there, but you know he was late on. 5-30, 2021. Lukas Rosansky, KO1, Arthur Spilka. Spilka sent his opponent down in the opening seconds of the first round, but Rosansky withstood it and then spectacularly finished the fight by knocking Spilka down three times in that same first round. Twelve one two thousand and one. Sven Otki, KO ten, Anthony Mundine. Trailing on points, the non-puncher German brutally took down the Australian boxer with a precise right-hand hit. There it is, flush on the chin. He was hurt bad. Well, let me tell you, I think if those ropes weren't there, Barry, yeah. Anthony Mundine could have been on the seat of his pants. Yeah, he, yeah very clever. He just... Mundine fights back on the power work to hurt Sven Otki. Right hand from Otki, Mundine. And it was the right hand as predicted by Barry Michael right at the start of the fight. Yeah. Appeared to catch him around the ear. Would have called a complete fight. knockout. That's exactly, I was just about yeah. to say that, Barry. They can really debilitate and make you go a little bit, you know, wonky. Yeah. But to... Another angle on it here. Watch the head snap around, though. And the connection of the punch. And there it was snapping around and caught with the left hand. 11-2, 2013. Giovanni Segura, KO-12, Hernan Marquez. The match was a real treat for the spectators and was filled with exchanges of blows. Segura was more successful, sending Marquez to the canvas in the 4th and 11th round. In the 12th round, a powerful left hook from Giovanni put a decisive end to the fight. The knockout was brutal. Seven fourteen two 2007 Kermit Centron, KO2, Walter Dario Matisse. In less than two rounds, Centron thrice sent his opponent to the canvas. The Puerto Rican's lethal 1-2 combination ended the fight in the second round. Right hand sends Matisse down again. And standing right now. And the quicker hands of Centron. Oh, and a left right combination of Matisse. In a way that... And this is from a devastating puncher. Not only is it flush, but Cintron can hurt you even if he doesn't catch a flush. In a way, he's almost done himself a disservice here because the action never really, really built to a crowd-exciting crescendo. Because it was such a one-sided fight, ultimately. And he was out after the left. Hermit Cintron with a devastating... 11-8-2014. Amir Mansour, KO7, Fred Cassie. In the seventh round, veteran Mansour brutally knocked out his opponent with a right hook. A couple of good rights there by Mansour. In at 233 for this fight, Mansour 232. Two big men in there. Very big guys, both to land his own punches, but he's standing a little too straight up on the inside, and it's going to leave him. So these guys want to see what Mike Tyson did. They want to see knockouts. Anyway, the fans want to see knockouts regardless. See, he reminds me of Clubber Lang. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> he really knew what. When I, was, when I was young, I used to watch that movie, and I, I'd ask my dad, I was like, how does he shoot so many punches? How does he punch so hard with his right hook? And, uh, you know, my... Oh. Now we see a lot of blood coming out of the mouth of Amir Mansour. Yes. So I'm just spit blood. I'm too oh, Mansour has knocked him out. A thunderous right. Amir Mansour. Yes. So I'm just spit blood. I'm too oh, down. Now we see a lot of blood coming out of the mouth of Amir Mansour. Yes. So I'm just spit blood. I'm too oh, down. 
fight. But, you know, uh, Cassie looks more responsive. He's talking. I see him moving his lips. Patton's first defense on the IBF title gets him with a good body shot. Now some problem resurfaces. He's been getting away with it recently. Was that a clash of heavy fighting? Danger area. Let them get on with that. He'll be relieved to get this out. The work left tonight yet. Well, I heard the story that Ricky was advising some of his friends to get back round right about the fourth or fifth round. Well. I see under American, Americans think about the unit is a little bit scrappy, it's forced. There's nothing really seen a beautiful right hand again. Oh he's got him in the head top! You yeah. seen a beautiful right hand again! Oh he's got him in the head top! You yeah. hand again! Oh he's got him in the head top! You yeah. 421 2012 Christian Maharis KO4 Eddie Julio a prolonged attack by the former world champion from Mexico sent Julio into knockout in the fourth round. One twenty six, twenty thirteen. Lucas Matisse, KO one, Mike Dallas Jr. In the first round, the Argentine's powerful right hand deafeningly knocked out Mike Dallas Jr. Interesting there, Dallas got advantage, stick and move. And meanwhile, Matisse is on right. We'll see it again. Paul, is a very short punch. A short counter right hand. It seemed like that was the only shot that landed clean. He's out cold. It's a good thing he didn't get hit again. Extreme slow motion look, and you'll get even a better view. He's already out here. Yeah, that, that's the point at which he's already gone, and you're right. Uh, thankfully, there was nothing else that landed, but... seven twenty four two thousand and four. Dominic Gwynn, KO1, Phil Jackson. Gwynn knocked out Jackson with a superb two-punch combination in only the first round. <laughs> Заметили удар слева Доминик Гвин. Посмотрите, как летит его перчатка, с каким ускорением. Рубящий удар слева. Да, Гвин опасен. После в обойму. За эти несколько секунд восстановил свою репутацию. Наш телевизионный партнер Panasonic Giga Cinema. 8-16-1993. Jimmy Ellis, KO1, Tony Tubbs. Right at the start of the first round, Ellis sent veteran Tubbs into a knockout with a powerful left hook.
5, 21, 1994. Nate Tubbs, KO2, Corey Sanders. The underdog Tubbs brutally knocked out Sanders in the second round with a perfect right hand shot. Das war seine Kombination. Aber der rückwärtsgehende. Da war die rechte. Hoppla! Und noch einmal. Und aus. Und. Nochmal. Da kommt die rechte. Die geht durch die Deckung, kommt außen rum. Und das war's dann. Mit er die Welt nicht mehr. Dieser Nate Tubbs.